This is an Alistair Type 2 garage door system, garage door opener. <clears throat> and I just bought this house. I'm trying to adjust this garage door and it's not, it doesn't have the typical modern adjustments that you'd find on a, a garage door. And the garage door is not opening all the way, it's actually hanging down. When you open it, <clears throat> it hangs down about this far from the header panel or the opening. And that's causing me to not be able to get my truck in the garage. So I'm going to try to do some adjustments on this and um, I'll let you guys see what I do and take you along the way. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right there. So see, it's hanging down. I'll try to get out of that sun. It's hanging down probably I don't know, five or six inches below the threshold here. And my truck touches at about right here, about where that little scratch is there. So my truck clears the threshold fine. The garage door is just hanging down a little too far. And in looking at this, I don't see, try to get up here. This Alistair garage door works on, um, you know, it doesn't have the typical sensors, the trip sensors, safety sensors. So I think it, it works on resistance. And the best I can tell is, well, you can see, this roller comes into this channel, and that channel, this is a fixed channel, it won't move. When that roller hits this channel, it puts enough pressure on the sprocket, enough resistance to where it stops. So I am thinking this roller controls the stop point based on this channel. So if I move this roller out a little, and let it pull the door up more um, that will solve my issue i don't know now i'll lower so the door a little I'll try it and see I'll give you a better view of this roller here that's attached to the chain my thinking is we move the roller down i'm gonna move it down about three chain lengths no i'll do two to start let's just see if that that helps and then i'll continue moving down if I can. My concern, here on me, let me put the door on. My concern are the um, springs and the cable. So when the door goes all the way up, the edge of the door will stop around this area here but then if i want to bring the door up higher it's going to start pulling the door so that this cable is coming up then i'm actually going to pull the door in and kind of pull that cable back out so that sprocket's turning and then i'll have to turn it back i think that's fine i don't think i'll put too much pressure on that sprocket so let me get this um, get this door back up and I'm going to move that roller and then we'll see if that helps. Okay, I moved it two chain links. It was right here and I moved it to here. Very easy to do. Flat tip screwdriver and a 3 8 pocket on the top and it just comes right off. Alright, so let's try it. Going down, obviously, we need to go up. Got 
that bleed off so when it comes up those springs are pulling it but let's see what happened yeah it's still it was fine till it bled off and what I mean by bleeding off is these springs are pulling it back to the better view over here So I don't know how I stopped that. I may not be able to stop that. If you notice, I don't know if you noticed, but it came awfully close to that light. I may be able to adjust it one more chain length to try to prevent some of that bleed off, get it as close to the lights I can, and maybe it'll hold. I'll come back to you and I'll see if I can get a solution. I'm going to move it again, maybe another two chain lengths, see what happens. I think this carrier will actually come under the light before it actually hits it. It's going to be close. right above it and look at the door awesome outstanding it actually pulled it way back let's see that seems to be fine um, I don't see any big issues there with these hubs and I didn't have any bleed off that time either. It didn't pull it back. It's awful tight. Now it is all the way. That sun is hard to film. You better look there. Nice. So. I think that will work. Let me show you better look of how this little roll on works you can see it wedged in here and then this bracket that puts enough resistance on the sprocket to stop the motor so that's how that works you have a switch here and that's for the downside so you have another roller on the other side of the chain and you can see it see it there and then that's the switch that tells it to stop when it gets to the floor so it doesn't stop actually by resistance um, it'll actually stop when it, it hits that switch I think Okay, I think that's the final adjustment. Let's try it one more time and make sure that it actually works. Oh yeah, it stayed up. And that is flush this is now flush with the threshold so outstanding now we can get the truck under there under here all right folks thanks for watching and if you have the same type garage door opener and you have the same issue maybe that will help you as well